Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we have a guest and we're gonna review a store-bought keto cookie. And we'll get into it right after this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Charity. And I am one half of Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now, you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that little bell icon so that you are notified every single time we upload a new video. So like I said, my name is Joe. The other half of Two Crazy Ketos is my wife, Rachel, who is not home right now. And also, she, moving into the new year, wants to limit the amount of reviews she does on sweet things because sometimes they trigger her. So we thought it would be a really cool idea to bring in our son, Anthony, for some of them, and Hi. Charity. She just followed me. And um, the whole idea is Anthony does not do keto. So when it comes to some of the keto foods, you're going to get an honest opinion because if he likes it, then you know it's going to be good because a lot of times Anthony is not a big fan of keto sweets. He likes keto foods, yeah. right? Things like the lasagnas and like Anthony makes an incredible keto biscuits and gravy yeah. because he's a good chef. But he's not a big fan of a lot of the sweets because he's not a huge fan of the erythritols and the almond flours and something like that. So um, one thing, Anthony, so we're doing a product review of a cookie that we found at Big Lots. Actually, yeah, you found, found this. That. So when we do product reviews, it's very important. Sometimes okay. they don't taste good. So do you have a drink? Yes. You have a drink. Oh, you have a tab. So Anthony has a tab. That used to be my favorite drink. And I have a Zevia. Okay, so we found this cookie keto. It's a peanut butter one. I'll show it to you up here. You gotta cover your face, Anthony, because it's tracking your eyes. There we go. Okay, so we found this at Big Lots. Yeah. Okay, so the way we're gonna do our review is since you're kind of, you're a guest. Yes. So, I know uh, how to eat a cookie. You know how to eat a cookie. Well, you don't know how to do a review here on Two Crazy Ketos. We're gonna taste it. Yeah. We're going to decide whether we think it's any good. And then we're going to go over five important things. What the ingredients are. Okay. And does it keto? And is it worth buying? Okay. Okay? I'm spit it on the floor. That's okay. It smells pretty good. This smells like a peanut butter cookie. It smells like a peanut butter cookie. So here we go. Again, cover your face, Anth. There we go. We have a really good camera and it doesn't even just track your face, it tracks your eyes. So you see that little box, it's like around your eye. Wow. Okay, so it's got a good texture. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. It could use more sugar or a erythritol. It's kind of bland, isn't it? It is very bland. It's got a good peanut taste, but it's very not sweet yeah. at all. Not bad. Okay. Well, we're let's put this to our five things review. So you got a high five. High five. Okay, so if you're new to our channel, we review all things based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? And you're gonna have, again, Anthony's gonna tell you whether or not he would recommend it as a non-keto person, is a keto person going to enjoy it? Okay, so number one, the ingredients. So the ingredients in this are almond meal, allulose, erythritol, peanut butter, milk protein isolate, butter, whole eggs, coconut flour, coconut oil, me medium chain triglycerides, heavy cream, citrus fiber, which is dried orange pulp, natural flavors, natural vanilla extract, baking soda, salt, chicory root inulin, salt lecithin, fermented oregano and flaxseed, sunflower lecithin, cultured cream, glycerin, xanthan gum, citric acid. That's actually some pretty clean ingredients. Uh, yeah. I don't understand what the fermented oregano is for. I don't for. know what that is. I don't. 
Oregano? Why is there oregano so. in a cookie? I don't know. Any questions on those ingredients? No, only that one. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's yeah, some, a long list of ingredients. It's a long list of cookie. ingredients for a cookie, but honestly, it's pretty clean. There's no egg. There is. Yes, there is. Whole eggs. Oh, I didn't see it. Whole eggs. So, okay. So number two, does it keto based on the nutrition label? So it says the serving size is one cookie and it's 110 calories, which is not bad. 10 grams of fat, four grams of protein. You can have that. Two total carbohydrates and three grams of dietary fiber. Okay. And it doesn't it says include zero added sugars. And it's not telling you how much allulose and it's not telling you how much erythritol. Okay, wait a second. First of all, I don't understand. How is it so you know how carbohydrates work, right? Carbohydrates are made of fiber yeah. and sugar, right? Yeah. How is there less carbohydrates than there is fiber? I don't know. I don't know how that works. It's not really possible to have less carbohydrates than sugar. I don't believe this nutrition label. Now, I'm going to say this. So when we were there, do you remember they saw, they had some other flavors? The other flavors, which were like chocolate, chocolate chip. chip what were the other flavors they had? White chocolate coconut macadamia nut. Okay. And I think there was one more. They had was snickerdoodle. Yes, they had yeah. a snickerdoodle one. And I think there was another one that had similar nutrition. And then the other but it was two, way higher than what the the, sugar. yeah, two of them had like eight or nine total carbs. I, I don't believe this label. Okay, how can you only have two carbohydrates when the first four ingredients are almond meal, which is almond flour, allulose, erythritol, and peanut butter? All four of those have carbs. Uh, yeah. So how is there only two grams of carbohydrates and only three grams of fiber? I just don't believe that. They're also not telling me how much allulose is in here. They're saying there's two net carbs. But the funny part is, is if it's two net carbs, why are they saying it's two total carbohydrates and three grams of dietary fiber? Do you know how to figure out net carbs? You subtract the carbs from... The fiber, the fiber and the sugar carb. alcohols from the carbohydrates, right? So there's so two minus three would be negative one. So I didn't. So so you can technically eat four of these cookies, and you can get an extra four carbohydrates. <laughs> That's a good way to look at it, right? How, You're going opposite. I'm going opposite. But the front says it's got two net carbs. So I don't believe this label. I have a feeling that's supposed to be five. Minus okay, but three. it's not telling me how much erythritol is in here. And the third ingredient is erythritol, which is a sugar alcohol, and they're supposed to list that. It's also not telling me how much allulose, which is actually supposed to be listed as a sugar. So, yeah, they're not basically counting that stuff at all. That's basically what it is. They're, I tell you, that's where they're getting it. They're saying that there's two grams of total carbohydrates because of the almond meal and I guess the peanut butter, but they are not even telling you the sugar alcohols. They're they're basically putting net carbs into the label. Yeah. I don't like that. So number three, how does it taste? What do you think? I mean, I ate it. You ate it. It's gone. I'd eat it. If you gave it to me, I wouldn't complain. Okay. So that's a good thing. So Anthony would eat it. I'd eat it. It's gone. I thought it was bland. It wasn't sweet. Well, yeah. it, it definitely wasn't sweet, but it, most keto cookies taste like almond meal and erythritol. This one definitely didn't, didn't have that. And it didn't. wasn't an overwhelming peanut butter flavor. It could have used more peanut butter. <laughs> it could have used more peanut butter and it definitely could have used some more sweetener. It's almost like they're saying sweeteners in the label, yeah. but I don't think I it's don't in taste there. It. I don't taste it. Okay, number four, how much does it cost? This cookie was $2. Oh, that's, that's too much for a cookie. Uh, but I mean, I wouldn't pay $2 for a cookie. Yeah, but you pay two. Yeah, but okay. So here's the thing. So Anthony likes to go to Wawa. One of your favorite treats to get at Wawa is what are those little Swiss, roll. Swiss rolls? Yeah. How it's much? A dollar are, nineteen. A dollar nineteen for two for, of them. For two of them. Yeah, and I just bought a box and I got six of them for two dollars. Okay. So so forget this that. doesn't your okay. argument isn't going to work. I no no no. My argument is what I'm saying is forget that you bought a box because it's okay. always cheaper to buy a box. Okay. When you buy them individually. Okay. Would you say that this cookie is worth more than one of those Swiss rolls? No. Okay. That's that's because remember, keto ingredients cost yeah. more money, so I'm going to expect them to be more money. I think two dollars for this cookie. That's a little too much. Because it's 
Honestly, it's okay. I could eat that in one bite. The thing I would say it's got going for it, it does have good ingredients. Again, if you're going to trust the nutrition label. Yeah. Okay. So number five, would you recommend this? You're out and about. You want a keto treat. Would you buy this? If, if and I... And you're keto. If you're keto. If I was keto. Okay. So there's nothing out there. You don't want to go to the sugar route and eat something like you're not supposed to, like you would normally grab. Would you grab this cookie or would you pass on it? I would pass. You would pass. I on would it. go grab. I would rather go grab a stick of cream cheese and just eat the cream cheese. That's a good point. So, okay, for me, I personally wouldn't recommend it because I don't trust the nutrition label. Yeah, Forget the cost because a lot of keto cookies are two dollars a cookie. I'm looking at. I don't trust the nutrition label. And here's my thing. I say this all the time. If you go to a store and you find a product that's labeled keto. And it's pretty inexpensive. It's probably not true. It's probably not a very good product for you. It's probably yeah. got a bunch of chemicals. This one supposedly, according to the nutrition label, has good ingredients. Well, then again, they, theirs is usually really cheaper. Because usually they price reduce their things. Okay. In big but again, so it could be more expensive. It's got the name keto on yeah. it. That's my point. The ingredients are good, but I don't trust the nutrition label. I just don't believe this has only two total carbohydrates and three grams of dietary fiber. So. Yeah. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you have tried this or any of the other flavors of the cookie keto. And uh, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon so that you are notified every single time we upload a new video. And until next time, bye.